dumbbells versus barbells. A debate that's been raging since the dawn of the gym bro. Unfortunately, social media has been lying to you. You liar! And I need to set you straight. The Dope Channel, checking in. Jonathan here, and today we're tackling the age old debate. Barbells or dumbbells, which is right for your garage gym? Which is gonna get you the most gains? Which is gonna get you that beach body faster than Amazon shipping? The interwebs would have you believe it's barbells. You can't go anywhere online without seeing every high school and college gym bro deadlifting with that angry cat spine. When Monday rolls around, hell, you can't find an open bench anywhere. And every half rep Harry is posting their squats with the hashtag powerlifting. What do you think? Is it better to train with barbells or dumbbells? Comment below. Panic. Barbells are better than dumbbells in a slight few specific situations. If you plan to strap on a singlet and take on an official powerlifting meet, or you've got the Olympic rings tattooed on your shoulder and you've got your sights set on Paris 2024, then heck yeah, pick up a barbell and get to work. Listen, I get it. When you're in high school and college, you think that hitting that next big PR is gonna give you enough social media credit in order to slide into your favorite Jim Tots DMs. The harsh, cold reality is that absolutely nobody cares about how much weight you can lift. And as you get older, you're gonna care a lot more about the fluff around your waist from years of dirty bulking than hitting your next PR. Dumbbells are almost always the better option when it comes to a home gym. They require a longer range of motion than the barbell and they create more muscle contraction during the exercise. And your body is forced to adjust to joint and muscle imbalances using dumbbells. Dumbbell exercises are harder than barbell exercises because the weight in each of your hand is not connected. This forces you to go lighter with dumbbells than a barbell and it reduces the risk of injury or just hitting snap city. Probably the biggest fake news when it comes to dumbbells is that they just don't go heavy enough to handle your massive power level. It's over 9,000! And for an elite few, yes, this is true. But for 99% of you watching this at home, yeah, you're just not that strong. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. In fact, most of you watching this video can't hit five solid reps of any exercise with the 90s, let alone the hundreds. The problem with dumbbells when it comes to a home gym is that they take up a lot of space and they cost Boku bucks. Now you can go with an interchangeable, adjustable dumbbell, but those aren't cheap either. And frankly, a lot of their handles just don't feel normal. They don't feel good and they don't feel right using. Thankfully, I come bearing a solution. I need to thank all of you for using my affiliate links which are in the description of today's video. And when you use those links, it obviously helps support the channel and allows me to keep this ice bath properly chilled for my massive burgeoning production staff. Number one, go with ergonomic dumbbells like these from Living Fit. Now they're ergonomic because they are sloped to have more material in the middle, allowing for a better fit in the palm of your hand. Also, these have medium knurling, both in the middle and where your uh, pinky and index finger are gonna be gripping it. Sometimes you need to use your head as more than just a hat rack. And the ergonomical dumbbells like these Living Fit ones solve a lot of the problems people tend to find when going after dumbbells for their home gym. Number one, the hexagonal design allows them to be stacked and they won't roll. Now, many people think that they need a full set of dumbbells for their home gym. And that's okay to think that, but the reality is for most people, five to even 10 pairs of dumbbells is gonna completely cover all of their bases. Five to 10 pairs of these ergonomic dumbbells don't require you to go out and get an expensive dumbbell rack. You can easily store these on top of one another against your wall. They'll be out of sight, out of mind, out of the way until you're ready to go. Another sweet, treat when it comes to these ergonomic living fit dumbbells is that they have a lifetime warranty, meaning they're gonna last you forever. Forever. And they're gonna protect your floor because they do have the ends encased in rubber. Cost. 
another major roadblock when buying dumbbells for your home gym. And these ergonomic living fit dumbbells come in much, much lower than fully knurled urethane dumbbells. Probably one of the best ways to save money on dumbbells is to buy them in sets. Companies will typically give you that massive bulk discount. Now, if you went to Living Fit and you wanted to get the full Monty, you just wanted to pull that Band-Aid right off and you wanted to go five to 100 pounds, you can get all of those pairs for $1.67 per pound, which is very competitive and that is delivered. Now, most people, they honestly overestimate the weight they need when it comes to dumbbells. You don't usually need to go very, very heavy and most people will get heavy dumbbells and they'll only collect dust. Now, if you went with the five to 50 pound dumbbell set on Living Fit, you can get those for $1.97 per pound. And these are sold as well on Amazon and sometimes they'll even have better deals if you pick them up off of Amazon. So I'm gonna put links to both in the description so that you can figure out which is the cheaper of the two and save yourself some money. Remember, there is nothing, and I mean nothing saying you need to get a complete set of dumbbells. Frankly, you need very few to get a fantastic workout in and cover all of your bases. Also, if you wanna save a boatload of money, don't buy every five pounds. Believe it or not, you can easily get away with every 10 pounds and save yourself 50% of the cost without feeling like you're leaving yourself short. Because you're getting such a massive savings when it comes to these ergonomic hexagonal dumbbells, there are gonna be some small trade-offs compared to the fully knurled urethane counterparts. Number one is that like for like, these are both 25 pound dumbbells, that the ergonomic are gonna be slightly longer and that is gonna continue as you go up in weight. It should go without saying that these ergonomic dumbbells just aren't gonna feel as premium as the fully knurled urethane counterparts. However, these things are gonna beat out almost any and all adjustable dumbbells. And frankly, these ergonomic dumbbells were built to crush calories and fight fat. The YouTube artificial intelligence knows your search history, and they believe this is the best video for you. Now, if you made it this far in the video, you and I are like deadlifting with bad form and snap city. We're visually best friends. Thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.